In today's video, we are going to look at another platform that is going to help us code things within minutes without actually needing to understand any of the code itself. Here you can see an example of what we will be building together. This is a Towers of Hanoi logic game, very popular in computer science classes, and I would like to create a mobile-friendly, online, web-hosted version. This can all be done with Canva. So let's jump onto Canva. Here you can see we have the main interface of our Canva page, and I'm going to use Canva AI. Now there's a number of places where you can access Canva AI. You can either click here, Canva AI at the top, or on the left-hand side here, you can see Canva AI. Now when you click on Canva AI, you can start a new chat. This is very similar to your other generative AI chats. Now in this chat window, this is where you are going to enter your prompt. Now this prompt can be very simple, but again, the more detailed your prompt is, the better the result. So I will give you a prompt. You can find it in the description down below. You'll find my full blog post on how I've created this Towers of Hanoi game, including the prompt. Feel free to copy that prompt and tweak it however you want. Now here I'm going to open my prompt. Now you can see my prompt here, create a Towers of Hanoi styled game, and it should meet the following specifications. It tells you how it starts, it tells you what the game mechanics are, the controls, the visuals, the feedback. Now very important, what I want in order for this to be easily accessible is I want it to be a single page game. So everything has to be within the HTML. So in other words, the JavaScript has to be within that single page, not use external libraries or access other websites. So here you can see I've said use only native HTML5, use the canvas elements, canvas, not Canva, don't get that confused. Canvas is an element that you can use within HTML and JavaScript. All logic, visuals, and interactions should be included in a single HTML file. So let's go ahead and copy this prompt. We're going to go to Canva AI, paste it here. And before we do anything else, at the bottom, we're not going to select design, but we are going to make sure we click on code for me. This is going to tell Canva I want you to use your LLM that is specifically trained on coding. And then we're going to click on submit. This is now going to start coding this entire game from scratch. And every time you do this, it's going to have a slightly different result, but every single time it's going to follow your instructions in the prompt. I'm going to quickly speed up this video so you can see the final result. So here you can see it is now coding all the CSS or the design for this website. I did ask it to be a single page, so it is not using separate files for CSS, JavaScript, HTML, everything is in a single file. And that is what it's doing right here. Okay, we're onto the main body, the HTML of our page. You can see the buttons here and the divs being coded. Next, we'll move onto the JavaScript. And here we are, we are now into the JavaScript part of our website. It's going to code everything we need right here in front of you. Let's give it a few minutes and then we'll test the preview. Okay, it's finished with the first draft. So here we go, Towers of Hanoi. We have two disks, three disks, four disks, five disks. And let's go ahead with the three disk version. And here we have our game. Let's test if it works. We're going to move this disk over here, that disk there this here. Perfect. Everything is working. Let's restart. So we want to be able to move these disks in different locations. So there we go. Let's quickly solve this Tower of Hanoi. And we've done it in seven moves. The minimum possible moves were seven moves. So we can have a new game. Excellent. Everything's working. I like what it looks like. Let's now add a few tweaks. Let's ask Canva AI to maybe use our school's branding. So let's go ahead and say that we would like this to follow school branding. So the following colors should be used. Now I'm going to pull up my own school's branding kit. Okay, so I've just copied my school's colors and branding guidelines. I'm going to paste these in and let's see what Canva AI comes up with. It's going to take that same game and tweak the CSS to reflect those new color choices. And here we go, 577 lines of code in just a few minutes. We can now see everything's been tweaked. We are using the correct colors. Let's test the three disc version. Brilliant, we're using those colors. We're going to have a new game. Let's try a five disc version. 
brilliant. Here we have those additional colors. So everything is now exactly how I want it. Time to now publish this. Now, no need for hosting or an external service. Everything can be done within Canva. So let's click on Use in Design. We're going to click on Websites. This is going to be a mobile responsive website. So it will work on desktop as well as mobile. And here we can add our sections. So I'm just going to close this for now because I don't need to add an additional section. I'm happy with this. We're going to go to the top and we can preview this. Now let's go ahead and preview the website. This is what it will look like. This is what it will look like on mobile. We can test this. Okay, this is all still working. Excellent, beautiful. Let's try it on desktop. All looking great. Okay, we can click on publish website. Now make sure that here at the bottom it has a resize on mobile turned on. You can also include the navigation. I am not including this because it's a single page HTML. Let's click on publish website. This is using Canva Pages. Now Canva Pages is again a free service by Canva that allows you to publish your own websites. Here we can now give it a URL. I'm going to call this a Tower of Hanoi demo.my.canva.site. Now you could use your own custom domain and when you click on that, you can either bring your own domain, buy a domain here, or you can upgrade to Canva Pro and then you can claim that domain. Now if you bring your own domain, you do need that Pro account, schools automatically get that upgrade and, and they can use their own custom domain. I'm not going to upgrade, I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm just going to use a domain given to me by Canva. So here we have Tower of Hanoi. I'm going to put a little hyphen between those just to make it easier to read Tower of Hanoi demo. We're going to click on publish. It is preparing that design. It's going to bring everything together, the AI generated code as well as my website. And now I have that link. I can open this link in an incognito tab to test it. And as you can see, my website is live. It's working. At the bottom, there's a little banner that says designed with Canva. That is perfectly fine. I'm happy with that. And here we can play our game. Super easy to create your own games, create your own websites, and to have Canva AI help you write your code. And I hope you found this helpful. I also want to say a quick thank you to all our channel members. They get access to videos early on. If you'd like to join YouTube memberships, you can find them down at the bottom where it says join the channel. In addition to that, we also have our Patreon supporters. They make it possible to continue to create new content each and every month, every week, and also get access to both myself as well as some additional resources. Now, if you would like to consider becoming a Patreon supporter, links for that will also be in the description below. I hope you found this helpful. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.